Hello everyone, my name is Uthers and welcome back to Steadflow. And we are in a new area of the map at the moment. I have been working off camera to try and get this settlement at least partially on its feet so that uh, recording today we actually make some decent headway as this is going to be the last major settlement before we work on the city. And the city, um, if I had to guess, we only have a couple episodes left of Banished. And then at that point, we'll probably move back to Timber and Stone. So people who are waiting on that will be excited to hear that's what we're probably going to be going back to here in the next couple episodes. But um, I do want to finish the city and things like that, as that was kind of the end goal of this series. So this town is going to be our kind of our meat factory, you could say. So we have a bunch of herding uh, of animals and then producing what um you know like butchery and smokehouses and things like that are going to be taking place down here so i'm just going to go ahead and bump it up to five times normal speed as the usual i haven't assigned anyone jobs here as i want to try and get these farms pretty much underway at the moment now i do want to focus on cows so i'm going to have three pens of cows and probably two pens of bison and then some sheep and some pigs and i think only one pen of chickens chickens and banners have never really done well for me so i don't really want to focus on them uh, i'll just have the one for the variety you can say but these cows they do produce um what is going on here? Hold on one second. Two. 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 Let's see. So we're going to have two workers per pin. That is something to note going forward. And then as soon as another trade caravan shows up with more cows. I'll be able to buy some more and fill up these pins rather quickly, which will be nice. We will probably need more homes, though. And I do want to start laying out our butchery stalls and things of that nature. So here's this tab. So we're going to have one of each kind of production for these things. So we're going to have a cow butcher. We're gonna have a bison for bison burgers, of course. Pig. And sheep. Good old sheep. There we go. So, that'll be underway for a little while. We have two dairies in this area. Two smokehouse already made. And, of course, our small market to try and keep this place stocked up. They also have their own little church, which is already full capacity. If you look over here on the right, we have so many civilians. It's getting a little ridiculous. Our food, also, you'll probably notice that it's, it's not good. I believe last episode we kind of finished it off with about 60 total food. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, I am using my other monitor instead of my normal 4x3 monitor as I do... I don't know. I feel like I should probably increase the video quality for you all, as I've been doing this for a while. Um, and I hope, you get, I hope it works, essentially. Uh, I hope I have the resolution and aspect ratio set correctly, but we'll figure that out in editing. Like, I should have done tests or stuff thing, but eh, I wing it. I really, really wing it. The new small fishing outpost was constructed between episodes as well. And if we look at here, we have an oil press using a bunch of our cotton to make seed oil, which I don't know what it's used for, but we had so much cotton, it was a little ridiculous. And we're going to produce more flax, which we'll use more dress coats. Reserve firewood is low. Not really. I mean, 1,000 isn't that bad. I guess I hardly ever hit above 1,000 that this warning does it usually come up? So that's something. I also, in the town with our 
honey producing beeswax area in our orchard I switched put a little bakery here that makes nut bread something that isn't hard tack it's something a little bit new for our citizens as we do have walnuts being produced and it, and it gives us you know 500 food a season that's not that bad I don't know what its ratio is between the two items I'm hoping it's double so essentially you're gaining food by doing that instead of breaking even but you never know you just never never know now at this point I'm gonna probably lay down a few more homes using a mixture of stone and wood up here and with a single straight avenue with just little side streets coming off of it I think it's a very clean and natural design as you can see <laughs> this area is going to be pretty bloody once these structures are underway and these we're going to have one smokehouse doing beef jerky the other smokehouse doing uh, uh, I don't know how to say this Pemmican I don't know if that's right um, but one's using bison and one's using beef from our cows which I believe our cows are producing beef right yes yes they are so cows are great chickens mm, they're they're doing okay that's about all I can say about that sheep butcher oop trader let's see nothing that I want go away please I also plan on having a fair amount of actual pastures out here so that we can you know just just the more food the better I f I'll feel about going into the city and this is going to be one of the major food producers just like our plantation area So we'll put two more pastures there, and then I'll probably put three, and then another set over here, just just so we can surround this area with a bunch of fields. I picked out the spot for a city. It's going to be along this river right here because it's pretty straight. You know, we can put docks and things along there. Maybe do something special with that island, and just try and take up both sides of this river as much as possible and make it as big as possible. So. Hopefully that will come into play at some point, and I'll probably make a double wide bridge uh, for those. Where is my double wide bridge? Yeah, stone bridge. You know, maybe, I mean, that place is going to have a lot of our major production and things, so the upgraded blacksmith and things of that nature, so we'll actually be able to finish off most of the buildings at that point. Now, I could split our cows at this point, which in the long run will actually do good. So I'm going to split our first set. That'll bring down five from this pin, put them down into this one, and uh, from there, we'll just split again as soon as we're able to. Let's see, is that a house? Yes, that is. Tell you what, we'll, we'll put one last stone one. No, actually, that's not a road. It's part of the dairy. All right, so that's going fine. I want to check down here. Yep, I did want to assign another parish house, but man, that just fills up instantly. I mean, we're at the cap of our religious structures. It's a little ridiculous. Let's check our total population count from our overview. We are on year 106. We have 268 homes, 211 families, 643 total population, which is very good. Um, I think the most I've ever gotten in this game is 1,000, and then at that point you're pretty much done. We're at 90% clothed, a little odd. 96% uh, educated, which is definitely up there. This place is making some linen for us. These guys should be making some dress coats. Which should be great. And the city will have probably three tailors, two blacksmiths, 
Uh, I mean, brick producing. I mean, the, the whole nine yards with our production to try and make sure we have enough tools and high tier tools at that. Now, whenever I split off my, my animals, I tend to have bad luck with it. Sometimes I'll end up losing part of the herd and not really get a large enough gain. I hope I don't run into that for this one. Uh, we are going to be using probably cheese bread or just normal bread, flour and butter. It will be pretty good up here because we'll be making butter with these dairies at some point. We're going to need a whole lot more homes, probably. There we go. There's a lot of fields. It's going to take up a lot of room. Let's see. What other things are there to announce? I've been playing a lot of Fallout, which I have to say, as a person who enjoys building in video games, I have to say it has the absolute worst building mechanics I've ever seen in a video game um, things don't fit together right there, there's just so many issues with with getting things flushed and close enough and my NPCs don't like to walk through the path that I make or the doorways let alone that um, the tutorial was really bad I didn't even really like, it took me so long to even get started on that I'm gonna make a video uh, showing off my sanctuary that I've been working on. Definitely not a series of videos, at least not me building. I might give tour videos of certain areas because it does look cool once you kind of figure it out. Um, though there are areas that really stand out and kind of bug me. But, um, yeah, I might show you guys that at some point. That is in the works. Whole lot of question marks. It makes it feel like this town, they don't know what they're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and start work on one dairy and then assign this person to do their thing. We're hovering around 30,000 food, which is good. If we go to our town hall, um, look at our production of food. We use 69, we produce 71. So we are on the upswing right now, which is great. I, I really hope That'll get even better as time progresses. We have 90 laborers. I mean, that's that's a ridiculous number to think about in terms of banished. 90 people to just run around, clear land for us. Put a little small connecting village on the other side of the orchard just to, um, you know, supplement our citizens a little bit and then I think here I'm gonna need a road this will be kind of a connecting road at some point I'll bring the right kind of apiary city into our uh, herdsmen so that'll be nice I even had to build a road just right here as um, I did want to leave this place wooded, as you guys know, but everyone was just walking straight across, so I was like, fine. I built a road for you guys. That way, you're just a little bit faster in the long run. Still amazing to kind of see all the people walk around. I mean, this market is very busy, pretty much constantly doing their thing. In the city, the nice thing about the city once we get there is we'll actually be able to make a central market, which is this large one. I don't think we've gotten to do that yet, as it is the most colorful of the three. I have a trader coming in, which is nice. Hopefully to bring us some cows. Hmm. Or some sheep. Sheep would be cool. Get some wool for some clothing. And also eat them, because... Cheap tastes really good. Let's look at this. They're making cheese right now. Uh, 
But they do make butter. It's probably just an off product. Yep. Yep. They just make equal amounts of both. So we'll have normal bread being produced at some point. And then I can make cheesy bread as well if I want to make another bakery here. I don't see why not. I mean, that would... Just even more food, really, at that point. These fills are doing okay. We'll probably split the bison off next. Put our second bison in this area. And then probably double sheep. Yeah, double sheep. That'd be okay. Maybe some pigs down here. Okay, what do you got for us, guy? Nothing good. Go away. Congratulations. You were one of the worst traders I've ever seen. Just bringing me chocolate. Okay, we're already at like 16 minutes or so. I really wanted more progress uh, while recording, but it seems like I'm going to have to do some sort of skit. As this, this whole town needs to be finished this episode, so that we can move into the city in the next episode and everything. And uh, I'll be right back to show you guys kind of the finished where we're at stage. Well, I thought I'd give you guys a quick update. One, food not going so hot. Two, we just had a disease, which actually might be a blessing in disguise because if we have people die, they'll eat less food. And really, I'm okay with that at this point. So, that's happening right now. In the meantime, though, I mean, we split off the herd of bison. Oh, we got two people infected. Just watch as this spreads as they waltz into town. They just had to make it to this hospital. And... One did. The other one walked right by it. They don't even know they're sick yet. Where are they going? Oh, sudden realization. Oh, you got another person sick. And we're up to four. You're visiting the graveyard. That's convenient because that's where you're going to end up here soon. So, might want to go get checked out, bud. Still at four and contained. Nope, not contained. Outbreak. Six. Here we go. That's going to be fun. Um, let's check on our cows. We're up to ten on that one. That's good. And ten on that one. So they'll start producing food again, which I drastically need. Shut up, chickens. You're annoying. 7 out of 10, 6 out of 10, so that's progress. Progress is good. I installed a little hunting lodge out here as well, just for more food. Because, you know, food. More of it. All the food. No traders have been by since last time, um, so I'm still waiting to buy some animals. So, uh, hopefully this play gets sorted out soon. We're up to 10. Uh, it's dysentery. I don't think many people... Well, I mean, if, if you're on the Oregon Trail, you would probably would have died from dysentery a lot, but I think these guys will make it. I hope so. Alright, everyone. So here we are. Year 115. It has been multiple years since we last spoke. Uh, the final of the actual disease... Went away, I think, the last year in the game, I believe. Not sure. It took a long time. I mean, we have a very sprawled out population and things like that. So, I mean, when that thing spreads from one city to another, it just has these little uh, micro contaminations to contain. Uh, this place, though, actually didn't get any disease. And things have been growing nicely, though way slower than I wanted. Did build a hospital. Figured that would be necessary. So we'll go ahead and do kind of a wrap up on what everything is. We got, I think, uh, how many pens do we got? We got three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. Is that right? Yes, thirteen. So we got three pens of bison and three pens of pigs, three pens of sheep, one pen of chickens, and one and three pens of cows. So. The cows are actually fully up and running now. Uh, everything else is uh, definitely a little low, but well, give it some time. Things things will expand. Food right now is pretty much evening out, though 
I'm, I'm sure I'm going to have to build some more farmland in between episodes. Um, because the city, as I said, is going to go over here in this area. If you can see my cursor. And it's going to start along this side of the river. In this whole section of the map, this bottom corner, we haven't touched. So I can turn that into basically, if you guys played any World of Warcraft, Westfall, in a sense. Um, and just make field after field after field for food. If that comes to it. I don't enjoy doing it like that. I prefer to have an economy like system but you know whatever's easiest is easiest. Uh, anything else to report? All of our butchery items are turned on and are cycling through as we speak slowly but surely increasing our food count and I think that's pretty much it for this episode. So next episode you guys can look forward to Laying out the city and starting that big project. And then afterwards, of course, we'll hop back into some timber and stone for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the episode, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Go ahead and leave a like. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and what I should work on next. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.